Hello again, Squadron. This is Commander Mystery Everything, and I'm coming at you with another State of the Unit address. Uh, this is the First Naval Aerospace Squadron's uh, monthly newsletter that I put out in a video format so that people uh, from the squadron can keep up to date on what's going on in our squadron. But also, if you're new to Star Citizen or you're interested in like maybe joining a squadron and you're interested to hear what we're doing, check out this video and watch some of our older videos just to kind of get an idea of what we're like. Okay, and then you can jump on our Discord. You can talk to us. You can play with us a few times. You can join the squadron. And if you don't like us, you can leave, right? And that's how we are. You know, it's we're easy going. If you, if you want to join, join. If you don't want to join, don't join. You know, but uh, we've got about 30 members in the squadron right now. And uh, not all of us are active. You know, some of us don't have computers. Some of us are working uh, jobs that prevent us from, uh, from playing. But you know what? That's the nature of the beast. You know, computer gaming is not, uh, is, it should not be your life. But it is your, uh, you know, you go, you'd go to this game to seek enjoyment, right? And but if you have to work, you got to work. You got to pay the bills. If you don't pay the bills, you don't have internet. If you don't have internet, you can't play a multiplayer game online. You know, you know how it is. All right. So, um, so all I can really do is tell you like what's going on with the squadron. And what's going on in Star Citizen? Well, we just uh, got a, a friendly invite to the Imperial Navy Reserve, which I think is a conglomerate. I don't know yet because I haven't really done a whole lot of research on this, guys. But I will do that. I'll do my due diligence and find out who these guys are and if they're people we want to be associated with. But they are, uh, they seem like a really good group of guys, uh, very military oriented, you know, kind of like focused on role playing that they're in the Navy and that they have a bunch of organizations affiliated with them. Hope, hopefully it's one of us, it's our organization, organization as well, maybe, maybe not. And all of these guys might be uh, considered allies. Okay, so that's that's an option. We're we're gonna look into that just to see if these guys are cool or not. If they're not cool, we won't we won't affiliate with them. But if they are, we will. Um, if you know if you're in the squadron and you want to share any personal opinions or any interactions you've had with anybody that's part of the Imperial Navy Reserve, uh, let me know because I'm very curious to know about that. Uh, another another thing is uh, we've been approached by a few other organizations that are uh, merchant related right and we even though we're the first navy aerospace squadron we still have like a merchant contingent that will do um cargo transports or passenger hauling or salvaging or mining all that stuff so it's good to have allies that also do that stuff and they might they might be able to give us a tip like this Asteroid field is uh, is rich with diamonds and and this moon has good gold deposits or something right and so and we'll share that information back and forth if that's something we want to do I'm not going to do that uh, without you know without um, coordinating that with the officers of our organization okay. Um, Membership. Uh, recruiting in, in Star Citizen right now is kind of difficult because there's like, I don't know, 100,000 organizations, which means there's about one organization for every five players. <laughs> you know, I mean, there, there are a number of accounts, but all those accounts, some people have two or three accounts, which is crazy in my I can't fathom why someone would get two accounts but there are people that do that they say well this is my good account and this is my bad account why do you need to do that just get just play you know I don't know I, I, it's my my mind just is boggled by that but okay so so but there are people that have multiple accounts whatever and so when they say that they're they they reached two million citizens or whatever no no they haven't you know, because some of those are duplicates. Okay, 3.1 is in PTU. I just downloaded the newest one, which is like 
like O or P. I don't remember which one it is, but uh, they just downloaded it. I'm probably going to play that a little bit tonight. If you're on and you want to talk with me or whatever, if you're, you don't even have to be in the PTU. If you see me streaming and you want to chat, jump onto Discord because while I'm streaming, I will be in a public chat in Discord to allow anybody, you, your brother, your sister, whoever, jump on your dog, anybody can get on there and chat with me. I'd be glad to chat, talk about Star Citizen. If you're interested in learning about Star Citizen, you don't know anything about Star Citizen, ask me. I'll be glad to explain that. Um, when I'm streaming, I get the most of my enjoyment is not from playing the game, really. When I'm when I'm not streaming, I play the game. But when I'm streaming, I get the most of my enjoyment from interacting with new players, people that or or players that that um, don't like they like to share ideas or we, we theory craft or we or we um share like you know experiences like hey i tried this in star citizen have you tried it yet no i haven't tried that let's try this you know that kind of stuff that that's what i really get i get i dig into the the personal interaction with other players or non-players like if you have never played and you got questions this is really what turns me on you get um uh, a question like hey can you do this or how do you do that or whatever i'd be 100% on board showing you how to do that. Okay, and that's why I stream. Uh, now, when it comes to our squadron activities, when we're we're flying as a squadron, we're training, things like that, I'm not streaming that. Of course not, I'm not going to stream that. That's top secret information. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so... <laughs> um, okay, so what's going to happen in the next month? 3.1 is going to be out, right? We're going to be able to... Land on the planets. We're going to be able to multi multi team. We're going to be able to team up with each other. We'll be able to do some stuff. Uh, the reclaimer is really cool. I had a chance to walk around inside the reclaimer. That sucker's gigantic. It's got like four cargo bays. It's huge. So if, but I don't own one. So that's. But in the PTU, I have one. Okay. If you're not in the PTU, no big deal, right? Don't worry about that. Um, PTU is reserved for people that are reporting bugs. But you know what? If you're not in the PTU. You're in the alpha. The alpha is still about playtesting and reporting bugs. It's not the game. It's the alpha. So understand that there's going to be bugs. There's going to be glitches. There's going to be hiccups. If there is, report it and let them, let them know what they need to fix. Uh, take an active role in the forums. Like if they... Our forums... Let's talk about the Star Citizen Spectrum one nas forums i don't see any activity on our forums i know there's only 30 of us right i need to post something on there and i've been writing it i haven't actually hit submit but i've been writing it for a while now um to the squadron and we're going to talk about uh it's gonna it's gonna talk about like uh goals and uh, motivations and why this and why not that for our organization and it's going to be kind of a longer little post so if you are uh, in the squadron please read my spectrum and read the, from the commander I got like letters from the commander on our spectrum post and uh, and and reply to those please uh, if you are if you have friends that are interested in Star Citizen and they're not sure direct them to me let them let me talk to them if they are sure uh direct them to our squadron maybe they want to be uh, you know associated with you in star citizen maybe they don't you know hey um but other than that i really don't have a whole lot to say oh 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 i do have this to say if you think that i've not been on it's because I'm not streaming or I'm not on Discord. I might log in for an hour or two. I might play and then I log right out. One of the reasons why I've been jumping on and jumping off is because I need to take a break from the other activity that I am doing right now, which is painting 28 millimeter Napoleonic figures. I am painting a ton of these figures and it's taking up a lot of my time and the only time I can get on uh, I don't know War Thunder or Star Citizen is when really when I just say you know what I'm just gonna log in play a match and log out so 
I log in, I play a match or two, and then I log out. I do not have time. And this is this is this is um, this is an observation of mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you as a player of and and you've probably have already seen this happen. Okay, I'm just gonna use War Thunder as an example because Star Citizen is not really it's more of an MMO and less of a like a scenario or a a match based game. Uh, but War Thunder is a match based game. You click launch. You wait for the timer to click down. You go into the game. You fight. You're done. You get out. Right? And then you click launch. You watch the timer. You go in. You fight. You get out. Okay. Now let me change that up a little bit. If you're in a team with friends, right? And you all are like, you love everybody's company. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's fine, right? You can't press launch until everyone's ready right okay so one guy's not ready because he's going to go get a drink no problem wait 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 next guy's not ready because he has to go use the bathroom no problem we all got to use the bathroom wait 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 another guy's not ready because he's switching which vehicle he's using He's decided, I'm not going to use the M4 tank. I'm going to use the M5 tank, you know? So you wait, 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 wait. Once everybody's ready, you hit launch, timer goes, you fight your battle, you win, you'll, you're out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and launch. No, just a second, I'm changing my tank. Wait, I got to go, I got to go use the bathroom. So... What I've done is a little bit of an evaluation of <laughs> over over the years. It's not like I've got notes. I think it takes about twice as much time to do two matches as it does. I mean, you can do two matches out of a team that you can do one match with a team. Um, is the enjoyment higher with, with your team? Yes. Does everybody, are you enjoying yourself, having a good time? Everybody's learning everybody's, you know, habits and things like that as a team? Yes. And that will be what I would normally do. But when I'm only taking a break from painting, this is me, when I'm taking a break from painting and I just want to do one or two matches because I only got like 30 minutes, I can't join a team. I can't chat with you. And that's, that. It's not that I'm trying to be rude because I don't want to be rude. I love everybody that's on my friends list. I want you to stay there. I don't want to be, I don't want to ignore you, but I just don't have the freaking time. So I, I launch a match, I play a match, I jump out, somebody sends me an invite. Hey, can you join the team? No, because I'm logging out or I'm playing another match. And then I'm getting out, you know, so. But if you see me streaming, like if I'm live streaming, yeah, definitely jump in there because that's super, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm taking a little bit of, I'm taking a longer break to be able to stream and play and stay with the team and everything else. But if you see me just log in and I play a match and I log out, I'm not trying to be rude, guys. I'm sorry. This is a this is me to you. I apologize if you feel like I'm being rude. Okay. There's a few members in our squadron that can't team up. One of them doesn't have a computer. He's moving into a new house. Doesn't have a, he is, his computer is, he needs to redo his computer. Another guy, his, his your XO, his graphics card crashed, so he's unable to play. Uh there's another guy who got a job where he's working the hours that we're normally logged in. So he can play, but he's probably playing at other hours that I'm not on. And then there's me. <laughs> that uh, We have a couple of guys that are still in the military. We have some guys that are in law enforcement. You know, we have guys uh, all over the world, and they don't always play at the same hour. So there's all kinds of real-life things that are interfering why we might not be playing together. Uh, so, having said that,
put something in Discord. Get on there and say, hey, I'm going to be on three days from now. If you want to join me, join me. And then, or hey, I'm going to be doing this on this game. Do you guys want to play? You know, I'll be on tomorrow. Give people a little bit of heads up. Don't say, hey, I'm playing right now. If you want to join me, join me. Because people might be doing something else. Or, or they might, you know, whatever. But, like, if you said, hey, tomorrow I'm going to be on at exactly 8 o'clock. I'm going to play for an hour. Would you like to get together and we can talk about, you know, the economy in Star Citizen? I might say, you know what? I can take an hour and set that aside. And we can do that. But what I'm... Tr what I'm also saying is, how does that song go? You know, um, if someone's at fault, look in the mirror. Because if you feel like everyone else is not teaming up with you, why? Why? You know, if, it's, if, if everybody's not teaming up with you, maybe it's because it's you. I'm not, I don't mean that negatively. I mean because maybe they just don't know you're on or maybe you didn't tell them. I want you to take a more active role in organizing team events. Why does it always have to be me? Yes, I'm the squadron leader. True. I do this. Correct. I even set up like training sessions and things like that. But it doesn't always have to be me. And over the next couple of months, it probably will never be me. Because I'm, I'm in a crunch to get the figures finished. I have to get it done by June 1st. It has to be done by June 1st. And I've only got about 60% of it done in the last two months. So I still have two more months to get the other 40%. So, I'm, so I've really got to cram. All right, guys. Well, that was a long, drawn-out, in-depth, heart-to-heart feeling. Boo-hoo. State of the unit address. So, um... If you're interested in the squadron, check us out at Robert Space Industries slash orgs slash one NAS. And I'll catch you next time.